Did you know that you can import records with attachments? Importing itself has been around for a while, but the ability to include attachments is new since version 16.2. Importing requires the use of a CSV file, that's comma separated values file, which I've already downloaded and entered data. You'll see I've entered the exact name of the attachments in the last available column for the header and for the detail row. Now I could have added one attachment for each detail row, but for this example, we'll just add the one attachment on one line of detail and one attachment for the overall record. Once your CSV file is saved and ready to go, we can simply navigate to the BP log, in this case our project meeting minutes, and click import. We'll select our CSV file and open and click next. Unifier is doing an error check on the import file and if there are errors, you'll be prompted to download the error log. Once you've edited that error log, we can reselect the file and try this again. And so now that the error check is finished and we've passed, we can upload the attachments named in that record, in that file. So we can click Add and make those attachments. And we see that they are ready to be uploaded, so we can now click Upload. Now typically, <clears throat> we would wait for this email alert once the upload is completed. However, I happen to know that this environment's actually pretty quick, so I'm going to refresh the screen, and we'll see we have a new record. It's my second record created today, and we'll see right away there's the one attachment for the overall record, and then the uh, attachment, I put it on our open line, so here is the attachment for the line item detail. I hope this has been helpful. Do you want to learn more about Unifier? Join one of our upcoming training classes. Just go to www.4cteam.com/training. Thanks for watching.